Hi friends, uh, welcome to Hive video tutorials. Uh, this session I am going to start with the uh, Hive data model. So previous session I have already covered on introduction to Hive and uh, this session I am going to cover on Hive data model. So what are the objects we are going to use in Hive and uh, storage structure and tables and uh, databases. This all information uh, we will cover in this uh, data model session. So as you know that uh, Hive is a data warehousing software where we can store structured and semi-structured data. Hive is not supporting for unstructured data, only structured and semi-structured data. Structured data means uh, whatever you have rows and columns. Semi-structured means uh, any files for XML or uh, JSON files. So you can store in uh, Hive. And then. Hive can be uh, categorized into tables, uh, partitions, and uh, buckets. Like there, uh, in table you can create a partition, and the storage uh, type there you can create a bucketing type. So this uh, three uh, storage type you can say that in table, without partition, without bucketing, we can create a table, and then you can create a partition to improve performance, query performance. If you have a huge data and if you are querying frequently for your analysis so we can go for partitioning the same thing for bucketing as well so i have covered another session on this what is exactly bucketing and how to create a bucketing uh, please go through that video and types of tables like in a hive uh, majorly uh, main is table that's an internal table where data will be stored in your warehouse and external table external table means the data will be storing somewhere and you are creating a file on top of that file okay and temporary table is a session table uh, you can create a temporary tables uh, for your any session wise uh, calculations or uh, in your query so if you are doing more calculations and if you want to do that uh, calculations on the fly then after that you have to in, you need to insert into some table that time we can go for temporary table this is session table so the temporary table will be dropped uh, once you disconnect the session so that table will be available only that session okay and manage table that's the internal table the data is storing in your warehouse external table is and any external files you are creating a one table and you are querying the data that's a part of external table these are the three types of tables you can create in Hive and metadata objects. So everything, whatever you are creating a table or a database, all this information will be storing somewhere, right? That we will can call as metadata. So data about data. So those the information. So metadata information will be stored database information. That's whatever you are creating a database that database namespace for tables that in database information as well as tables information if a table the table contain list of columns owner storage information and the data types all this information will be stored in your metadata and the partitions like if you have any partitions created on the table that partition information like a column how many columns you are creating on this partition and uh, storage where you are storing this partitions so this all information will be storing in your metadata so data about data so database if you have a hundred databases it's all the database information like storage information when you are created those all metadata will be stored in uh, in this and same thing for table uh, list of columns owner storage information all this information will be stored in your metadata same thing for partitions this is a partition information like columns and storage information so this is all related to metadata objects this is all three objects metadata will be stored okay let's start with the sample commands of creating a database so how to create a database and a sample syntax for this create is a keyword and you can specify database or schema so both are same you can specify schema or database okay if not exist if it is not available that name whatever you are giving that name it will be created if it exists it will fail okay 
then comments if you want to provide this database comments you can provide in the comments is a command and keywords location where you want to you are going to store this all hdfs path with db properties so that properties or you can specify there's a list of properties available that will give a lengthy uh, properties options available so that i will give in differentiation so this is the way where we can go for creating a database that is create a database or schema you can space this is optional again whatever is specific brackets here you can see this is optional if not exist you can create this a database is a user defined name the comments you can provide the user defined comments and the location you have to provide the location same thing for dropping a database if you want to drop a database drop database or schema you have to specify the keyword if not exist this is if not exist here if exist so i'm going to drop only if exist if not exist it's not required right so if same thing for creating a table i'm going to create a table if not exist so i'm going to drop a table if only exist this is the name database name whichever database you are going to drop that and there's a two modes a restrict and a cascade a restrict is a default mode if you're not specifying anything default will be restrict and if any tables and data will be available so if you want to drop your database completely without data without any restrictions that time you can go for cascade you can specify the cascade option and the default will be a restrict mode then create a table so as i told there is three types of tables you can create in hive one is a internal table okay this is a mayonnaise table if you are not specifying any temporary or external uh, that will be internal table as mayonnaise table if i are specifying with the keyword create temporary table that table will be created as a temporary table that will be available only for the session and that will get dropped after disconnecting your session okay and you can create external table this is a keyword okay create external table if not exist database name dot table name so whenever you are creating a table better to specify your database name why because if you have a multiple database and you are creating the same table like uh, across all the databases better to create a script with a database name dot table name then column names and data type you can specify same as other data or even as databases multiple columns you can specify with the data types then additional parameters this location where you are going to store this data the sdfs path and the table properties are available so same thing for here you can see db properties right for table also we have properties like if you want to enable uh, acid properties there's a transactions if you want to do insert update delete so you can enable that properties same thing for if you have any headers in your data and if you want to ignore that uh, skipping any regular rows those are all the properties available i will explain all the properties and those values then when you're creating a table on from any select table query okay you can specify as select statement okay so this i'm sp specifying syntax here if you want to create own table you can create a table up to here and if you want to create a table any existing table with the data as a select statement you can use as keyword same as any rdbms sql uh, query here also we can use the same queries like a create table and you need to remember that temporary table is a session table external table is a pointing to a particular location where you are uh, have a files so you are querying the data uh, if you are not specifying temporary or external mm -hmm. default will be main is table that is internal table so mm -hmm. this is the basic syntax i am giving in this session and uh, other sessions i will go one by one uh, like depth uh, all the commands available in create all the properties what are the properties frequently using properties partitions and bucketing all this information i will go through in other session so this is only overview on commands as well as data model so data model 
is related to hive uh, all the tables uh, whatever you have with tables and databases this all information we will call as a data model and uh, metadata as well so whatever metadata objects uh, where it will store the metadata and uh, list what are the objects it will contain the metadata like database names as well as the tables like columns and other information storage information partition so this all information will call as hive data model okay so thank you for watching my videos uh, please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates on my channel uh, i will catch in other videos uh, more depth in uh, uh, many internal tables external tables and the session tables with a practical example so thank you for watching my videos thank you very much